Hello, welcome to another tutorial on how to display another calendar in Outlook 2016. So this tutorial will take you through some of the basics of how to open another user's calendar to display that calendar. It'll also show you how you can delegate permissions to somebody else so that they can enter any appointments on behalf of you, you know, in your calendar, basically. So let's get started, shall we? So firstly, let's say, for instance, um, uh, let's go to uh, the laptop on our left here. This is Lenny, this is Beauty. So if I'm talking about Lenny and Beauty, Lenny's on the left, my left, Beauty's on the right there. So what do I mean by opening another calendar? Well, say for instance here, if I wanted to see Beauty's calendar, I've got this Beauty's calendar just down here. I can click on it and so I can see different appointments available there uh, and I can click on the little close button just at the top to close that down. But how do I open that calendar? So let's do that, shall we? So I'm just gonna right click on beauty and I'm going to delete calendar to get rid of it and bring that up again. So literally you go to your calendars. Now what I'm gonna do here is just gonna right click on the um, left hand side on shared calendars or on my calendars will do. And this firstly, I'm gonna create a new calendar group. I'm gonna call this calendar My Workmates. Brilliant, so inside this My Workmates calendar group, I can put a number of my work colleagues' calendars. I can display a number of other calendars. So what I'm gonna do is gonna right click and click on add calendar. And then I go to from address book. Oops, I went to from room list here. Let's just uh, change that to, let's do that again. So right click on that calendar, go to add calendar from address book. And I'm going to look for beauty, if I can spell it right. There we go. So double click to add beauty there. I'm gonna click on okay. And now I can see Beauty's calendar there. Now, a couple of the, I've got a couple of options that I can use here to try and work with this calendar. The first thing is, if I want to change the color of Beauty's calendar, I can right click, go to color, and choose another calendar. So I'm gonna choose pink for that, seems appropriate, doesn't it? The other thing is I can um, choose to view Beauty's uh, calendar in overlay mode, in as much as I can see Beauty's appointments along with my own here, and it will overlay them. So if I go into, the next few calendars here. It's getting a bit windy out here. <laughs> so I can just see Beauty's appointments in pink, where Lenny's is brown there. I tell you what, just to do the contrast, I will change the color of Lenny's calendar to blue. So I can instantly see Lenny's and Beauty's appointments. Let's just separate them for the time being. I can have view different views as well. So at the top here, if you notice, I've got my month view. If I want to view my calendar by month, week view or work week view if I want to here or day view there. Excellent. So let's just zoom back. Now say for instance I want to add in appointments. Well before I do that I must delegate permission. So how do I go about doing that? We're going to swap over to the beauties uh, calendar here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the actual calendar in my calendars just here and go down to and click on sharing permissions. So in the sharing permissions section here I'm going to choose uh, add and I'm going to add in Lenny. There we go. Click on OK from the address book. Now at the moment I want him to, I'm going to get him so he can view, edit and delete meters. I'm going to say delegate here. Uh, now I can also ask or allow Lenny to view private events. So Beauty can allow Lenny to view um, her private events, basically. She's not gonna to wanna to do that. Uh, she wants to keep her things private. Private things should be, uh, in her eyes, should remain private. Good, that looks good. I'm gonna click on OK. Delegation's done. So let's swap back to Lenny. So now, if I just, in fact, if I close down and just concentrate on Beauty's calendar here, I'm gonna to go to the work week, and I want to then um, put in the meeting for her. So she's on annual leave for a little bit, so she's gonna come back. Uh, so she should be back here on the 23rd of July. So I'm gonna put in a meeting for her London time here. I'm just gonna double, yeah, put a dragon appointment there. So I'm gonna highlight from 12 to one, press enter on the keyboard to start typing. And then I will talk about, enter the meeting, which is a very important sales meeting. There we go, that's fantastic. If I want to add in, add in any extra details, I can do exactly the same double as scheduling a meeting. I can click on very important sales meeting there. I can then go to scheduling assistance and I can invite other people to the meeting uh, as well. Uh, the big building. 
and then I can put an agenda in etc uh, as well and invite people to the meeting. So there we go, so that's a little bit about actually how you can use calendars or display another calendar and we've used calendar groups as well but we've also delegated access to our calendar to somebody else so that they can enter in appointments. So just back on to Lenny here, uh, if I right click on my workmates here and go to add calendar from address book, just one last little thing, we can add multiple calendars in here. So I have a few names here, so I have Bugs Bunny, so I type in, in Bugs Bunny, press enter and notice that the name appears just at the bottom, just down here, you can see Bugs Bunny. So then I can start typing different names in, so it's already highlighted at the top, so if I type in uh, Ariel from the Little Mermaid and Ariel comes up there, if I type in Pink Panther, Pink Panther comes in there, that's great. So there's three calendars already. I click on OK or I can press Enter again and you can see instantly all these calendars are added to Outlook so I can start working with them and changing the colors as well. There's much more to learn with calendars so if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button down there. If you got anything out of this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.